Hello folks, hope you're all well. Now if you watched the last wood pigeon decoying video that I did, that ended up such a travesty after I found out my rifle had got knocked off zero somehow, you may recall that I mentioned I had a better day after that. Well, this is it here. Now I've everything set up in exactly the same way as I did the last time. The same two man pop up hide from bushware mount it up in the exact same corner of the field and using the same BSA Super 10 air rifle. The only real difference is that this is about a week later from the last time and I've set up in the evening time after work rather than the morning time. This is something I used to do years ago and try and decoy the wood pigeons a few hours before last light as they fill their crops before they head off and roost for the night. But the first bird down was either a feral pigeon or a racing bird and since I couldn't see whether it had any rings in its feet or not, I left it alone. But thankfully it wasn't too long before I got an opportunity at what I really came for, a nice wood pigeon. And since the stubble wasn't too high, I didn't mess about with headshots either. First shot and first bird down, without missing or problems with the rifle zero like the last time thankfully. I've shot a few birds now, so I went out and added them to the decoys, because if they're lying on their backs or an unnatural shape, it'll only put the other birds off from landing. You might think that seeing me walking around in the decoy part room would put the birds off totally for the rest of the day, but believe me, a pigeon lying on its back with a puff of feathers lying around it is even more off-putting to incoming birds so it's well worth getting out and tidying your decoy pattern up. Plus it might surprise you how quick the birds will start settling into your decoy pattern again once you're back in the hide. I'll have to apologise for the partially obscured scope cam footage and it gets worse. Some of the hide netting must have sort of draped in front of the scope end bell. I didn't see it while looking through the scope but the camera definitely picked it up. These two birds decided to land in a small tree to my left about 40 yards away instead of landing in the field with the decoys. This seemed to set a trend through the day, as you'll see, with other birds giving me an opportunity in these small trees. Another pigeon decided to land in the tree, this time about 30 yards, but whatever way I twisted myself in the hide, the hide netting covered not one, but both cameras. But the impact sounded really good.
Next time I go out, I intend to fit the long sunshade onto the scope. That should help stop that problem. Time for another tidy up and set up any shot birds as decoys. Plus it's a good way to stretch your legs after a long stint in the hide. The birds certainly are keen this evening. Thought I was on for a left and right there, but unfortunately not. I didn't actually see this bird land and it is behaving quite odd and in closer inspection through the scope I believe it was a bird I've already hit but unfortunately needs a follow up shot which I'm very thankful I got a chance to take. Looks like another young wood pigeon, as it doesn't have the white and green neck bars yet. The heart and lung shots seem to be working well here, though I did notice some meat damage later when I was processing the birds for the freezer. Now that's a nice clear picture. Shame I didn't get the rest of them like that. I spotted a bird, well seemingly sunbathing out at the edge of the decoy pattern. 
But again in closer inspection I think it may well have been a bird I had struck earlier on and needed a finishing shot and thankfully I was able to do just that. I was sitting waiting hoping for another opportunity before the evening closed in when suddenly something spooked a lot of pigeons sitting about 80 to 100 yards away down the field. And when I looked up, I seen this fella here at one of my pigeon decoys. Well, that is, if it is a fella. Now, the last time I was here, I was quite privileged to see a peregrine falcon. But I think this time, this is a sparrowhawk. But feel free to correct me in the comments if you think otherwise. It's obviously quite confused and I'd say somewhat frustrated at the fact that not only is the pigeon uh, as hard as nails, but it also seems to be totally ignoring it. Not content with that plastic decoy, it flew over to the next one to try its luck with it. But that decoy didn't meet its satisfaction either, so maybe it was a female sparrowhawk after all. But you could almost see the joy and glee in its face when it landed in the next bird, which in fact was one of the shot birds I'd set up earlier. That's more like it now, hey. This is a proper pigeon, not one of those plastic substitute things. Uh, of course it was a Northern Irish bird of prey. Although I was enjoying the spectacle of the sparrowhawk trying to find a free meal among a field of plastic decoys, the local rook and jackdaw population weren't too happy about it at all. Now, although all birds of prey in the UK are totally protected under law, so don't anybody be suggesting they should have shot it, the magpies on the other hand that land it to mob it are fair game. But I had to be careful and select one that was going to give me a safe shot away from the sparrowhawk. So I went for the magpie on the right, as it was far enough to one side and even a little beyond the sparrowhawk. That way, if I got a pass through, which I did, the pellet wouldn't go anywhere near the hawk and just plough into the straw behind the magpie. The second magpie though definitely wasn't giving me a safe shot and I'd have to wait to see if he moved clear of the sparrowhawk which looked startled but determined to hang on to its pigeon dinner. And thankfully he started making his way over to the magpie I'd just shot. The sparrowhawk by this time decided the pigeon wasn't worth having and flew off. So now the magpie was definitely safe to shoot. By now the evening was really starting to stretch and the wood pigeons looked as if they've lost interest. Not surprising really with the sparrowhawk knocking about. So I decided to call it an evening. Not a bad wee haul for a few hours. Well, that was the last evening I got at the wood pigeons. And by now it will be all ploughed in and re-sown with winter barley ready for next year's crop. Which I'm sure will need protecting as well. And hopefully it will give me an opportunity to put more meat in the freezer. Anyway, take care everybody.